This program is intended for mature audiences only and contains strong or potentially offensive language of an adult and sexual nature. So, listener discretion advised. The views and opinions expressed on the curvaceous bounty of Sin City do not reflect those of Vegas All Net Radio or its affiliates. All music, stories, and characters are the sole property of their creators and are protected under international copyright laws. Sierra, Alexia, Mama, and Sweet Cheeks are personalities put on for your entertainment. The stories are real. The language is explicit. The behavior is unbelievable. If you can't take the heat, get the fuck out of the kitchen. Watch out for Las Vegas, Nevada, it is the curvaceous bounty of Sin City, starring Sierra, Sweet Cheeks, Alexia, and Mama. Good evening, Las Vegas. I'm peeping around the world, and happy fucking Father's Day, everybody. Happy Father's Day. And if you're not fucking a father, then you're not a mother (laughs) fucker, or a father fucker, I suppose. (laughs) Fucker! Um, Because I can say that. Some of my fuckers aren't fathers. My, or should I say, wait, fuckers or fucky? No. Fuckies. Fuck. I think it would be fuckies. No, because they fuck me. It, no, 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 no. Oh. A- as of last night, they all would have been rapies. Ra- <laughs> you were just, you were rubbing and bouncing on every lap you could find last night. I should. Night. <laughs> my, my, my ac- it, that video that I posted on the Curvaceous Bounty page on Facebook, the two second video was an accidental because my recorder wasn't recording when I was trying to get you grinding on that poor boy. <clears throat> But you totally grinded for two <laughs> seconds on her video. Um, he liked it. He did. Which boy are we talking about? Because I did a lot the of grinding. The boy that Coco brought. Oh, that's boy. Thunder J. He wants to be a porn star. Thunder J wants to be a porn star. And yes. he's too young for Coco because he's her age. Oh. <laughs> well, she and I had a very long conversation well, about he that. Had, he had a big um, conversation with Coco, you know. Um, Coco's baby daddy and my grandson had the same father. So Coco had told Thunder that, you know, that he had lived with me for a while. And, and Thunder goes, are you sure he wasn't hitting that? And I went, oh, hell no. That's like my son. Ew. Ew. Grody. Ew, grody. But um, I had an awesome time last night. I'm a little rough today. My throat, huh? <laughs> and you, and you did not suffer from hangover, you I said. I don't get hangovers much. That's yeah. because um, you drink clear alcohol. And I also um, combine it with a few other things. <laughs> uh, Pharma- herbal remedies. Herbal remedies and pharmaceuticals. So, so Prescribed by my doctor, I might add. So let's get back to the Father's Day thing. Is there uh, any father celebrating Father Day celebrations going on in your guys' lives? Yeah, there's my dad, my baby daddy. My daddy. What did your kid, <laughs> what did your kid do for his daddy? Well, unfortunately, my kid didn't, didn't get to do anything for his daddy because on Father's Day, day, I was barfing all day. So. Well, and on Father's Day, craft day at... at Craft day at woodworking class, they made a Father's Day gift. Aww, yeah. See? And and unfortunately, my kid was barfing the night before, so he didn't get to do anything either. Everybody that's walked in my house the last two weeks right. has been We've barfing. all got the stomach flu from Sweet Cheeks. Thank you, Sweet Cheeks, for making us all sick to our stomachs. I didn't stomachs. start it. Somebody else brought it in. See, I'm telling you, we're like this one big happy. We share everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he wanted to get his dad. I said, what do you want to get your dad for Father's Day? And his dad's like obsessed with his iPhone like I am. He goes, I want to get him an app for his phone. I said, oh, that's great. We can get him an iTunes card. That's right, fucking right, right, easy. Right. <laughs> and then I was even at Walmart today, and it totally blew right past my mind. So I'm I think like, you can buy them at 7-Eleven now. Oh, yeah, I think I can get them anywhere. <laughs> yeah, Walgreens, I'm going to pick CBS. one up at Smith's. You know, he can call his dad. Like, I got your card now. Come get it. <laughs> um, I have a service. Um, I go to uh, a quick check cashing place right now uh, until I get a, an account. Can you move your mic stand? Who, me? Oh. Rotate it. There you go. Yeah. Until uh until I get an account. And uh they have this this rack, this spinny rack of all these cards. Not an I I would buy iTunes cards every week when I went in there. Really? Yeah. But they don't. They don't they don't sell iTunes cards. Um, Probably a good thing they don't because you'd be broke. And I and now that I no longer work for the seven eleven corporation, I don't go into seven elevens anymore if I don't have to. <laughs> unless I'm I don't craving go a big into gulp. them once unless somebody's got good price on gas. I mean, I really don't go into a seven eleven. I go into the seven eleven because they have their new seven eleven select snacks now. And those are just as good as the name brand ones. Oh, and their cracked cool. black pepper and sea salt chips are really good. 
Um, can no. we talk about plush for a minute? Because they had go-go dancers. Yes. Oh, wasn't it great? I Number one, I love plush. I have always loved plush. You know what I love about it is, you know, we're all BBW community, but you see different people at plush yes. than, and a different group of, I mean, there's always the same, like yes. us, yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> at, at uh, the Red Label, BBW Club Las Vegas. And then there's another core group of people that only go to the karaoke. Right. So I just love the fact that we can cater in the community to all of those different groups and the different what wants. people like. For those of you who don't know, Plush BBW Nightclub uh, reopened again last night. Um, or to night a before, huge Saturday crowd. Night. Huge crowd. Oh my gosh. There were people in from out of town for that last yeah, night. Yeah, uh-huh. And when, when I was getting ready to leave to go pick up Silent Mike, um, around 1 a.m., I think it was, 12, 12, 15, 12, 30, 20. All I turned around and you guys were gone and I was drunk. Yeah, I went to go say goodbye to you guys, but you guys were all, you were floating, as you call like it. Like a butterfly and stinging like a bee. Yeah, you were floating and, and I think Kelly Guy and I were dancing at the time. When I got into my car, five cars in a row pulled right up. Five cars wow. in a row. So it was, it was, packed. it was, it was, it was, there was a couple birthday parties being celebrated mm -hmm. yeah. and they had go-go dancers. I know. Uh, Wish, Wish Vegas, if you've never been there, is a beautiful venue. It's uh, very night clubby. Very, yeah, nice. very it. club but feel. It's very, yeah. it's very like New York chic nightclub. Yes. It's got like draped fabric and Right. And then this is light, the feel the that lighting. I know that Jacob is going for. He's yeah, going like for the, the actual nightclub kind of the deal, ultra right? club kind of thing. And there are these platforms, these huge round concrete platforms that stand about four, three feet tall, mm -hmm. four feet tall off the ground. And Jacob got three go go dancers to dance on the platform. Three big chubby, girl, chubby go go chubby dancers. Go -go chubby dancers. Go -go dancers. Yeah. The one right in front of our table was very enthusiastic. Yeah, she was. The I other, tipped her. The other two, you you didn't tip her. You shoved your face in her crotch and gave her a dollar bill. That wasn't tipping her. <laughs> I did tip her. Gave her the do <laughs> dollar bill. I could have. I face hey, in the crotch. Wait, I could have just did the face of the crotch and skipped the dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> the other two, the other two were kind of off and on, but she was mostly on all night. She was really very, very enthusiastic. I walk in, and I was drunk when I walked in the door. Yeah, okay, I, I pre potty baby. <laughs> so I walk in and I go, "Oh, Jacob, if you could get about four of these guys to hike my ass up there, I pull shit out of my chubby rolls for you." And I thought he was gonna fall over. <laughs> Was there hilarious. was there were some really great looking guys there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Some some that looked like they should be wearing Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> no one. Should we would have. Um, no, they should be wearing. They weren't. Oh, but they look douchey. No, no, they no, no, no. Abercrombie and Fitch does not have a good name right now. Maybe no, they we need do a not. New al analogy here. But they more like they, more like. But they only pretty like people should, should be, be in there. They look like GQ. So. Yes, that's. They look like they should be in Gap. Or Gap. Gap. I think when Gap I think of like Gap, Gap I think right? of young people. I want something a little more mature than Gap. So I, I, was, Republic, I, I, I do the social media for Plush. So I was going around taking pictures of everybody and, and I was having a great time. But most of the pictures were of women because there there is an inordinate amount of women Beautiful compared women. to men. Beautiful. So the third round, my third go around, I looked for the men. <laughs> And I so said, let me take like some pictures boys here. of men. And there were a lot of very handsome there men were. there. there. There were a couple of, because it's a public club, it's not like it was closed for plush that night. So there were a couple of off the street stragglers who yes. walked in with what the fuck have I walked into looks on their faces. Yes. And we're, our, our table was kind of right by the door. You could just see over the little arm. It was hilarious to watch those people walk in because they'd come in as a group. If you're watching on SinCityBounty.com, which you should be, you can watch us live. You can see all the facial expressions. So people would walk in and the girls would look around. They'd scrunch their nose up like they'd smell poo and they'd look around. And then they'd look to the male and you'd see them flap their little jaws saying something like, what is going on? <laughs> and the dudes would scrunch up their nose like they'd smelled poo and go, I have no idea. And then they'd stand right in that little entrance area and look around for a little while and chit chat going, should we stay? Should we go? Should Unless we stay? Should the we go? man got a good glimpse of some big titties. Right. right. There's Unless a lot of titties something... in that room. We should have had Desiree positioned right up front. Yeah, a lot of titties <laughs> in that room. <laughs> Unless he saw something specifically that he wanted to stare at or was one of those fatophobes or those closet fatty likers, you know, those people, they would stand around, chit chat about what they're going to do. And then generally they left a couple of bravery 
brave people stayed and, and stayed near the bar close to the exit, just, you know, in case. <laughs> and those are the ones that I walk up on at the bar to get my drink. And just absolutely excuse me, them. excuse me, especially if I think they have a fat phobia. Yeah. You know, my ass is all over their crotches. I love it. Uh, it was too much fun last night. I, I had, had some, a great and time. And I loved seeing everybody and everybody looked really nice. They were dressed really nice. Yeah. You know. Hey, mama. Here. She's here. And uh, so the next plush party, I believe, is July 25th. I do. I just marked it. It is July Thursday night, July 25th. It's the pre-fan fest. The pre-fan fest, right. And there's... New chairs. Yeah, we got new chairs. Yeah, but my fat ass is sliding off them anyway. So that's going to be... That's going to be a great party because the last, last BBW Fan Fest kickoff party was the shizzle. Oh, it was Because there was porn stars in barely anything all night long. Um, I furries? Was, I was they just... Oh, actually, oh speaking right. of Speaking of furries, I was just talking to Vixen Blue. Were you? Is she coming? On, on Twitter. And um, I had posted on the Plush uh, Twitter. You can go to Plush the Nightclub. I believe it's Plush the Nightclub Twitter or Plush Nightclub BBW or something. I can't remember the Twitter off the just top of my Just Google Plush the Nightclub. Yeah, there you go. And uh, so she wanted to know where her pictures were from the year before. And I said all the... You ready? Yeah, I just need to... I can't hear you. Oh, you're... She need to be phone. up. I can hear you now, yeah. Up. Can you hear me? So can you, you hear me now? I'm here, I, I know that you can go to plushthenightclub.com and uh, check out the galleries and their videos. The galleries are videos. Individual pictures are on the Facebook. And then give me about a week or so and I'll have the video last night up. So... Fun. Yes. I had a great time. I miss it. Can we do it again? Now? I missed it. Knew what? It's okay. Well, we have a party coming up this Saturday. And I still have uh, rum left in my uh, my gallon jug so I can pre-party again. <laughs> Your gallon jug? Well, I buy the, buy the gallon. What the fuck? Well, that, it's cheaper that way. And then I have it for when I go. I'm good for uh-huh. about two more parties, my pre-parties, and then I have to buy wow. another gallon. <laughs> I got some at my house. Rum? Come get one of those. Okay. Rum it's, uh, or gallon? Ga- it's Bacardi. It's the, it's the uh, yellow one, though. The white one. Or the, the dark one? It's not dark. It's yellow, gold. Bacardi yeah, gold or I'm, something. I'll like pass. That. I, I got I, two jugs. I drink the clear one, and as the Sierra just said, so I don't get a hangover. Mm-hmm. Really? Make if I well. drink the gold, will I get a hangover, I, Sierra? I happen to be very Maybe. good friends with a couple of health people uh, besides Jeffrey Burke. Uh-huh. And uh, they they one of their sponsors is a uh, hangover pill, which you Take it with your alcohol. You can take it with your alcohol. You can take it before your alcohol. You can take it after your alcohol. And when you wake up the next morning, you're clear headed. Do you have hangovers, Mama? I don't really get hangovers much. Um, and I drink. When I drink, I drink to drink. One of the times when I drank about four of the blue ones plus a whole bottle of Amarito, adios, motherfuckers. Right? Amaretto. Uh, yeah, I wasn't feeling so. Yeah, that good the next that's. Day. Well, you can't mix the shit because that's a hangover for yeah, sure. I have a dra- I have a drawer full of this stuff. So I'll, I'll what give you adios, some. motherfuckers? No, no, no. The <laughs> the hangover, anti hangover pills. Oh, nice. We should hey, put those in the fuck bring it. Jar. We should. Right? <laughs> I we should give those away at the uh, Half and Buddy party at Fat Fest because those would be <laughs> hell. Fuck that. We should sell them, bitches, because everybody's gonna want some of those and then well rounded. Well, well, I think that's a great idea. We'll put them in the fuck often jar. We have yeah. uh, one that we need to give away. Still, we do. So. We do. We, we do. Give away at, at the, we are all for all of you in Vegas that year loved party? that two year party. Maybe we'll do mm-hmm. that. Yeah, that yeah. loved karaoke. Um, we will not be karaokeing at the Red Label any in, longer. In July, right? Right. But we are looking for a new, a new venue where karaoke already exists that we can bring all of our fabulous fat singers in. I'm and about putting um, together just a casual come drink at a bar night at this little bar around the corner from my house called Chubby's. Sounds fun. No, uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. But anybody oh, who we, knows, me and you, we have to go in there. Yeah. Anybody Let's who knows of a karaoke someplace, um, couple requirements: the seating has to be right for the big girls. No so arms. No arms on chairs. No real. All, no place where all the chairs are high, and the parking has to be where the you know it's fairly close parking. So if anybody knows that, please get in touch with us on our website, and uh, so we can check it out for karaoke. You know the guy. At, um at little d's when you did the dancing you took his hat and rubbed it on your butt yes he does karaoke too yeah he didn't like me rubbing his hat on my cooch yeah oh. not, not too much no not so much it's okay <laughs> i want you know what fuck that i want two thousand dollars right, right, right. <laughs> Tell about i don't give a fuck what you like i want money yeah. bitches so i was so i was late today as you can tell but um 
It, it, she's also still, got money in her I, nails. Were you getting laid? Right. No, you know what? It's so like all the stuff that keeps happening to us is so awesome. They actually wrote a wrote an article um, for it, it started out right now for the um, for the hospital's PR people, and they actually wrote a story about the whole situation. And um, as you guys know, that DJ is an electrician, so he belongs to the union, and. I made one call for help, and they started helping from everywhere. Awesome. Um, so one of his brothers was just at the house from his class, and they were bringing us a gift. So very touching. That's I fun. love the unions. I praise the unions because I was there when you I made was, that I call. I wasn't so and sure. And when I, you know, when I made I call, love unions. And that girl came in like 20 minutes, and I absolutely love her now. I just, I absolutely, as soon as everything calms down. You which send I her cake pops yet? I'm going to. I'm <laughs> going to send her something. Um, You know, what, you know I don't, she's going to adopt you like we did if you do. Right. Yeah. I, I have to be careful with that shit. You're going to end up with a job I'm from You never Detroit. know where I'm going to end up, you know. I'm from Detroit, <laughs> and I was raised union, and I was at union meetings with my daddy when he was five when I was five years old and my grandparents were union. So I'm all about it. Yeah. All, and, it, it, and, and, and you know, actually, in times of this, they are brothers. And, and you know what, one of the guys, uh, cause they told me to come down to the hall to, to go do something. And, um, I, I was like, you know, I'm just amazed that all the response and everybody checking up on him to see how he's doing. And the guy stopped and looked at me. He goes, cause we care. Yep. Aww, that's and I awesome. was like, Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Right. <laughs> Shut up. I'm trying to get shit back to normal. Speaking of five year olds, little <laughs> little mama before I left, she says, Where's my brother? And I said, I don't know. She says, I predict he's in his room. <laughs> and I looked at her like, what the fuck is she doing? I guess she's psychic now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so so the next one she says I predict I'm going to shake my booty. <laughs> I said, little girl, if you don't get out of here, if you don't get out of here, get out of here. She's, she's psychic now, but she tells the future of what she's going to do before she does it. Yeah. That so, is so cool. Awesome. Well, at least she's letting you know she's getting ready to shake her booty, I right? Know. I was like, girl, if you don't get the hell out of here. She is I predict that I'm going to be a stripper. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be like that little girl in the Missy Elliott video that made all that money and got her own fucking show. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So, um, what did uh, what 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 did the kids do for DJ for Father's Day? Um, they wanted to make him a cake. Um, he is not so much into cake and sweets and junk, you know, nowadays. So they make him a granola bar, so, right? <laughs> or so, a fruit skewer. I actually have got some great recipes for homemade fruit leathers and uh, low fat cakes and stuff that he might like well he, he's not really a k I, I guess i mean i don't know he's i mean he doesn't really do that kind of stuff i don't it's ice cream and stuff like that so we ended up um i talked the kids into taking him to um golden spoon oh that's oh, right i saw that cool post. that's cool i saw the post yeah golden Man. spoon is yummy okay they have one the one that i had it, of course dj's thing is the peanut butter one not peanut butter cup but peanut butter so, um, the one that was out, um, on blue diamond had the peanut butter. Of course we were going to Bass Pro Shop anyway. So, um, that's, <laughs> that's where we ended up stopping and they have this one called tiger's blood. And that's the one that I had. And it is so, I got a whole it's bunch of comments, nasty comments on it. Thank you so cherry much. And coconut. It's no, so, it's no, not, it's, it's coconut, strawberry, watermelon, and pineapple. I think they said there was a, there was a, Another shop that I went to that had tiger split. I said, "What is in this?" <laughs> Some idiot said, uh, "What the fuck is that actor's name?" Uh, he said, "I'm winning. I'm winning. What's his name?" Oh, um, um, oh my God, Charlie Sheen. That's it. I asked, "What's in this?" And they said, "Charlie Sheen," because it's tiger's <laughs> blood. I was like, "Don't be a dick. This is a kids program." Yeah, but yeah, but it. it I, I think that they said it was strawberry, watermelon. Coconut and pineapple. I Ooh, think that, that was the combination. Like it was nice and so tropical. Good. Yes, it was so good, so good. But yeah, nice and tropical. But then, yeah, and then we went to Bass Pro Shop and walked around. Hey, That's... Cali guy says if the hospital wants to do PR with DJ, that should be accompanied by a reduction in your bill. Hmm. Yeah, maybe they'll eat up your your insurance's copay. Hmm? I, I doubt it. Jessica Vega said she saw your post too, and it looked pretty gross. It, gross. <laughs> it was good. 
<laughs> Shut up, Jessica. Only okay. way, only Look, reason why it looks gross is because of the comments that our friend Bigga and Mr. DJ were going back and forth about the comments about the picture. Thank you very much. What so, did it look like? Uh, female? Yeah. Whatever. I thought yeah, it looked good. Much. Yeah, I, pretty much. I, I, you know I, what? If it's bright red and bloody, I love it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I got to tell you, I was in bed all day and never even looked at my internet today. I stayed in bed. Till <laughs> was I your internet even show. working today? Oh, I'm sure it was working. I just didn't log on. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that was about it. That was about it. Sounds good. So I saw the Mike got a Happy Father's Day while we were standing in line somewhere. I can't remember where we were. We've been Somebody all over the place said today. randomly Happy Father's Day? I think it was Starbucks or something like that. Happy Father's Day. And he said, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told him, I told him, I said, I am not calling you daddy. <laughs> big, big daddy. I'm not calling him big daddy, little daddy. Does he want to be called daddy during sex? No. Oh, give it to me, daddy. What no. about oh, Papa? It, even if he did, I would not do it. <laughs> or Papa. Hi, puppy. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> I called Michigan today. Me did and you? my daughter and my grandson, and my sister and brother and their significant other. They were all at my parents for dinner, so we had a big, you know. You know what's awesome when we, when we do that now? Because two of DJ sisters lives in Nebraska. And whenever we go to L.A. to go out there for anything, um, they actually pull the computer up and do Skype. That's great. Mm-hmm. And it is so awesome because, you know, everybody gets to see everybody. And, you know, it, just, it feels kind of more like they're there. I need thing. to do that. My parents don't have a computer, but I'm sure my brother has we made, a we if, made anybody, if anybody is at that house with the, with the, with the phone, a cell phone. Yeah, my brother and sister do. They could have done it. You know what? We need to do that. That's, I need a, or to an do iPad. That. We made a special trip out to my grandparents' house when they still lived in Arizona to install a webcam and Skype and teach them how to use it. And then the following Christmas, we Skyped Christmas to their house. My father's afraid to have the internet at his house. <laughs> He's afraid. No, no, no. It's not anything the weird. The government's going to get him? No, no, no. Um, my father loves. <laughs> no, he loves things like to read things about woodworking and food. He's afraid he would never get off it. Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah, he did absorb. That's true. He yeah, he's afraid. By Pinterest. I've been to right. a few of those woodworking uh, oh, websites he's and they are phenomenal. Because my sister, like he'll to ask my sister, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this, you know, you know, can you look this up? And she'll look it up and print it for him. But he is really afraid that he would never get off the, yeah. he's <laughs> the so internet. So true. So that's why he won't do it. Yeah. It's so true for at least the first six months. I do that. Especially when it. you haven't been around it at all. Like right. they've been around it very little you know i I do that sometimes too with like nail stuff Uh like nail designs and i'll go and i'll like let me see you know what everybody's posting you need to get on pinterest for nail art what everybody's posting right now and i'll look and like the next thing you know i blink and it's been an hour that i'm just sitting there just clicking well i did that this week with the game of thrones i'm Mm -hmm. going through serious withdrawal from the season finale last year we are in mourning we are mourning we're wearing so i um you know it's summertime so sierra's little boy is is at my house every morning at seven for coffee and so it's always I go oh, let me tell you I got some spoilers from season four well let me tell you what's gonna happen and she's like listening and or I'll text her during the day, oh I found out this but I, I have to withdraw myself some way because I am I just want to watch it every day every time and I keep dreaming about the imp I'm gonna have to have sex with a with a dwarf Okay, sounds good. I'm going to have to be there to watch that because I love fat girls doing midgets. I fucking love it. (laughs) I'm going to have to put a post on Craigslist or something and try to find a little person. Or, you know, I know a few in the industry. Maybe I'll. I'm serious. I am so infatuated with with the imp on that show that I just want to do it just for private purposes. Say you want to do it at the Power Exchange. We can all come and watch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She's like, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. You wanna, can I put? Sell you want me to put you in too. charge of finding the person? Sell ticket? No, because I don't know any midgets. I don't either. But well, well I kind of. Why don't but... we just all work on it together? All right, It'll I will be a team. Project. I again. It's called Team Imp. I again. <laughs> team Imp. Project Imp. Project Imp. Um, and I project again. Imp wait, project. I again will take one for the team. I am always such a good team player. I, I take know, them huh? for the team. No, <laughs> you're a dirty whore. That's there's a difference. Anyway, I think the imp is sexy on that show. And the more power he gets, the more I just want to fuck that short little man. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw some little. I don't watch the show. I have not surely. Yeah, Gotten but into it. DJ likes it, and I saw him, and he's a little. He is a little powerful. He's like, "Come on, bitch, let's go." 
Like I'm taking, yeah, my, but, I'm taking my wife and I'm going to fuck her now. I'm but he hasn't so fucked his wife. He's such an honorable man that he don't want to fuck her because she's it was a 14. forced married and she's 14 and she's all scared and he's supposed to implant a baby in her well, be- bosom. Well, what I belly. saw, what I saw of it was that, and he was saying. Uh, there was a little thing, and he was like, I'm taking my wife now. I'm going to fuck her. Well, you know what? I think there's been such a transition what in did, him. What, did that turn you on? No. No? I think in the same line, he said, um, I threw up on a girl once. Come, wife. I'll tell you the story. Maybe it'll put you in the <laughs> that, mood. That was right in the yeah. same thing. Yes. That was right in the same yeah, thing. It was at yeah. their wedding, yeah, yeah, and he yeah, yeah, was loaded. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't I, I do. If you haven't noticed, I... Uh, <laughs> I, I could replay Chris, the whole thing back to you. Forward. The best yeah. is when we, we start, ha- we have an entire conversation in what we call got, uh, <laughs> got outtakes. So it got that short GOT, that short for Game of Thrones. For those of you who aren't already nerdy enough, we just nerdified you a little I'm bit. I'm so more. not nerdy. I'm so excited to be oh, nerdy no, on this one. Shut up. You're watching Game of Thrones <laughs> and two shows on sci fi. I am. You're so, right. You're I, right. Callie guy accused me of bringing her over to the nerd side. That's I said, right. God damn right. Oh, and not only that, there's a show that started, which is a very nerdy show at the beginning of the season, and they're cutting it off, but they have to end the show. So I see that it was on last night. I, I, I'm texting, Sierra, tell Callie guy that Zero Hour's on tonight. I said, <laughs> I know, my DVR is already recording it. <laughs> What's Zero Hour? I don't think I've heard oh, of that it's, one. It, it's a, it's, it, there's like six episodes. They filmed six or eight episodes. It didn't take off very well, and these are the they're just they aired the last two episodes back to back because they're not renewing it, and uh, it, it's a show about uh, the doctor from ER who died of brain cancer, who is also on Green, uh, Doctor Green. Dr. Green, who is also uh, Goose. Okay, okay, I know, yes. I know Goose. I know you. I know you would know Goose. <laughs> I'm that old. I know Goose. Okay, so uh, they his wife gets abducted by some uh, international. She's a terrorist. clock repair. She's a clock repair lady. Lady. Listen, she gets abducted. Come to find out the Knights Templar, back when the uh, Knights were being destroyed by the church, they had some secret that, that they had to keep hidden. And so they kept it hidden and they kept it. They kept renewing the, the apostles. There'd be like a new Matthew and a new Luke and a new John. And then during World War Two, when the apparently all of the apostles were in like Poland or some shit. Who the fuck knows why apostles are in Poland? But anyway, the Knights Templar... Wasn't one of the Pope's Polish? Maybe that's why. Maybe. <laughs> so the, the apostles and the Templars were all in Poland and then the Germans invaded and they had to build clocks to hide where the location of this I big secret I think I is. saw an episode of that. It would have been very interesting. Yeah. Kelly Guy was totally stoked because they filmed some of it on on the I think campus I w- grounds of one of the I colleges be- I believed to. I got a little bored with it, much like I did with your synopsis. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are no, so no, no. bad, Alexia. It's great. I liked it. You know what? I tried it. Sierra, I, I try- liked it too. I will try things, and if I don't like it, this is how I know I don't like licking pussy. I will at least try it. Have you tried it twice? No, not yet. Because sometimes the second time is better. I know. Right. I, I did that with mushrooms. I didn't like them when I was younger. I tried them again. Now I love mushrooms. So I try things. Wait, wait mushrooms? How do you, how like do you the compare? hallucinogen kind? <laughs> oh, the... That's what went through my head. Regular okay? food. The drunk. Wait, That's what wait, went through the, my head. The twist on this motherfucking show. <laughs> I mean, in two seconds, there was pussy and then mushrooms. How do we do that? <laughs> no, no, no. In two seconds, there was, a ner- no, there was a nerdy television show, Pussy and Mushrooms. Right. And now we're going to add... Bacon, just like that. Do you see how that bacon? went in there? <laughs> right in there. Yummy. Added bacon. I love bacon. Pussy mushrooms, bacon, and nerdy fucking television. That's what this show is. You about. know what scares me <laughs> is, is you guys have turned me into that. <laughs> Wendy, how does Mama sound now? She, uh, Wendy said that your your volume was a little low compared to everyone else, and Jessica Vegas said you just need to suck on it more. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what he says all the time, Jessica, as you know. Well, so on occasion, mom does, Mama does decide to pull back from the mic, so she fades out a little she bit. Does. Yeah, you know what? I'm still trying to get myself back into the real world shit, so yeah. Yeah, we, I, we, I didn't expect to hear tonight. Yeah, well. So it's I'm cool good. that you're here. The show must go on, right? Right. Uh, Black Ring, we do not have a guest schedule for tonight because we have been out of the real world for a little while, but we have plenty of fodder to fill. Oh, we, we the show like stealth sex. We have no problem fucking stealth talking sex. three stealth hours. Sex. The three is the that a teaser us. for your catch up? It is. Stealth oh sex. my god! <laughs> Sneak up and fuck. Yeah, can, <laughs> can you tell Kelly guys back in town? <laughs> Right, because she gets all hee hee hee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, no, I know it. I know it. When she drops her son off at 7 a.m., I know if they've been a Cali guy night or not. She'll go, 
Where's her coffee? <laughs> and if it hasn't way, been, she's like, oh, is my cup by the fat pot? Because she got a good night's sleep, you know? Hmm. Or my my on the way is, it is such a glorious morning this evening. How is the day for you, my lady? <laughs> oh, or, I, is or I know, Kelly, she's like, she does that shit I'm running. In the morning? I'm, oh, oh, if, oh yeah, yeah, she has. Oh, or, 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 or I, I asked up at 5.30, 7 o'clock. I'm glad you're not fucking nothing. calling me. No, when it <laughs> says, I'm running late, we'll be there. I know that was a Cali guy <laughs> night, too. <laughs> all right. You're listening to the Cremations Bounty of Sin City or on VegasAllNetRadio.com. Streaming live video at SinCityBounty.com. <laughs> 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 We're going to take our first break. We'll be back right after this. 